G'day everyone, I'm Wayne Dowson from Wayne Dowson Fine Art and this is a portrait of Keith Boldy. Keith was an Australian who served during World War II as a pilot for the Royal Canadian Air Force. Jacqueline and I headed up to Queensland to meet and interview Keith. Keith will be the sixth painting in my Anzac Portrait series. And the painting and the second part of Keith's story will be coming soon. But now I'd like to introduce you to Mr Keith Bowley. I was born in Grindy, New South Wales, and I moved up to Winton with a family. My mum was all the family moved up to Winton. I was the only one born in Grindy. Charlie was born in Sydney. Frank was born in Winton. Ewan was born in Winton. And I think Ruth was born in Winton. First time we went to Grindo, we went down in a, about a 1924 Buick, big, big Buick with a cloth hood that folded back down. And the next time we sold that down in Grindo and got hold of a, a Graham Page, which was a Yank thing. It was a good, good buggy too, and it was a, enclosed. And then we used to go down to Wint Grindai about every three years. And how long would the journey take from uh, Winton to Corindai back then? About a week. Mm. We used to camp on the road. Mm. We used to, 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 to put up a lean-to tent on the side of the car. We'd camp on someone's water hole, get permission from someone to camp on their water hole dam or border. Or in the sheriff's court. <laughs> I went into the Air Force in uh, September 1941, before the Yanks came in. I was on the guard duty on the in the on the, in the front of the uh, down at Sandgate on the on the uh, parade ground down down there when the Yanks came in. They said, "Oh, they." The Japs had been attacked Pearl Harbor, so they gave us five rounds of ammunition. So we changed our challenge. Halter, halter I fire instead of halter, who goes there? <laughs> that stopped them. And so you joined up with the Air Force, and how did you end up going to England? and um, flying with the Canadians? I went into, into the Metropole Hotel in Sydney that night and had dinner with my grandparents, two round trees, elder round trees, and I said, I'll see you tomorrow night. So the next morning I, I appear on parade, Bowley, front and centre. I said, God, what the hell have I done now? <laughs> and they said, there's a, there's a ship leaving at 11 o'clock. This was at 8 o'clock in the morning. Ship leaving at 8 o'clock. At 11 o'clock. And the bloke got sick and you're, you're his replacement. This is going to England. This damn thing that we're doing in Monarch. Biggest, biggest motor vessel in the world at that stage. So they piled me pulled me into the stores, re-equipped me completely. With helmets, gas masks, and God and pistol, pistol holsters, and God knows what, on the ship out and out through the harbour by 11 o'clock, going to New Zealand. And when we get to New Zealand, we stayed a fortnight there loading frozen meat. So we went and stayed with various people in New Zealand. I stayed with the keepers of the store, one of the stores down there. Then they bunged us on the back on the ship and headed for Panama. Then we realised why they wanted us. There were 25 of us, pilots. They said, oh, they'll know something about shooting. So they put us in, in charge of the light artillery on the ship. I was on the port wing of the bridge with a two hours on and four hours off on a 20 mm cannon, Orlican cannon. We had a six-inch gun on the stern, which was manned by New Zealand Fleet Air Arm. 
and then hooligans, uh, uh, hooligans, yeah, hooligans, and uh, both of us. The things that fired up chains, God knows what. It was pretty well armed, the old ship. Two twenty-five knots too. Because the submarines couldn't catch her. We went solo from Sydney to Liverpool, up to North America. This was in November '42, when the, about the worst submarine time we had. Gone like bats out of hell. Didn't see anything to shoot at, except the other side as we came out of Panama into the Caribbean. We were. Little, little things, rubbish and little lifeboats and God knows what all, all. all. all the ship sank before us. <laughs>